Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Beginner's Guide. This is The Trouble with Bubbles. And we're going to get right back in where we left off, which was Chapter 11, September 9, 2009, The Lecture. I apologize if I haven't been super active. I've been switching up my entire model and testing new editing softwares. Items you this love at members-only prices. Why did I come here today? Was it to improve my life? Was it to get a better job? Was it to make your relationship, my relationships more meaningful? No. You came here to become perfect. What? Hey, I wasn't sitting in this chair. This workshop's going to teach you how to be perfect. I want your friends, people in your life to look at you and think, wow, this person is a better human being than I am. Right now, what do you think about that way in your life? Who do you know who is so well-developed as a person they make you feel disgusted with yourself, compared to whom you feel useless, selfish, ungrateful? I intend to make you that person. Perfection is within your grasp, and the question is not how we do it, but how we do it effortlessly. effortlessly. This is easy. It is so easy. It is About so halfway through the game, easy. the perspective shifts. Being perfect is effortless. Holy crap. I see the, uh, the, the pole, which and means this is the end. And you play as the teacher. And suddenly, you discover that your teacher is just as bigoted and afraid as you are. Oh, and also you can move around the classroom now. Can I go up the stairs? Nope. Uh, this is the key, how to achieve it with no effort. On the way to work, I saw an elderly person, kids should learn to not follow their dreams. This is the key, how do I do it with no effort? Isn't effortless, um, I still love you. It's just feel cold inside. These are really confusing. If you are torturing yourself trying to find the right solutions for your life, you're not doing it right. Seek out the only w one thing. What is the easiest, simplest path? There is no truth. There is only path. Hey, student, are you are you up there? Can I can I come see you? Everyone's screaming and it's terrifying. Do what is easiest. Do what is simplest. Feel what is true. Nothing, no one. I felt pretty hard for this one. I feel like it's one of the most relatable experiences that Perfection. you Perfection. To uh, assume that some other person is perfect and totally fulfilled in every way and completely miss all There's the one small hair. that make them painfully human. I think about this game a lot these days. This one took a lot longer than all the others for Coda to make. It was four months between this and the last one. That's wow. twice as long as it took him to make any other game before this, and it's not like it's particularly complex, so I remember I found that a little strange at the time. Okay, on to the stage we go. I don't want to perform, though. I have nothing prepared. Oh, I see where we are now. Well, let's go around the back stage. Can we climb ladders? Nope. No, we cannot. And we can't run either. So let's just go on behind backstage. Behind the stage. Behind the uh, flats here. The facade. Well, let's go out and perform. If that's what the people want. <laughs> Holy crap. Alright, the performance is beginning. Places, please. Are there any? Is there any? In this scene, you will be playing as me. We are at a gathering of professionals. First, you'll start out leaning against this wall. Good. Stay right there. A woman across the room in this chair is a professor of photogra professional photographer of animals. It's your dream to photograph animals professionally. This is your chance to learn something from her, to gain or succeed. Go on. Say something to her. Hello? Hello? That's it? That's not a conversation? 
You need to actually converse with a human being. Do it again. Um, here are my hopes and my dreams. No, 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 that's not what I said to her at all. You're completely missing the tone of the conversation. I was reserved, but I knew what I wanted. I was confident. For some reason, it was just that one moment, but I was, but it was, I was confident. I'll give you some props to work with. These cones that bounce when you touch them will represent people nearby. Um, now talk to her again. Oh god, are they gonna get closer when I fail? You must have worked really hard to get where you are. Yes? You're messing it up again? What? You'll freak her out if the conversation gets that perfect, that quickly. Oi. You don't realize how important this was for me? I'll never get an opportunity like this again. Everything was riding on this. Hmm. I want to try something. Oh, where'd they go? Um, what part of trying something is going down a giant hallway into nothingness with the lamppost that signifies the end of your game? Should we just go past it? Alright. Oh, man. Well, now this is the only way I can go, so I guess I'm out of luck. Okay, yes, now the this is working. The game ends with this, this eerie like. premonition of what's going to happen next in Coda's life. The solution to social anxiety, to fears of having to perform and having to chase success, the answer for Coda is to withdraw, to hide himself away. Which is what leads to scenarios like the stairs that slowed you down several games ago, where it just becomes harder and harder to access Coda's inner landscape because he keeps retreating. He just keeps backing away from possible connections to anyone other than himself. And to be honest, I didn't consider it very healthy when I first played this. You know, it, it looked to me like he was trying to justify the idea of just disconnecting yourself from the world. And that wasn't what I wanted for him or for his games. Because I feel like a lot of his games are inviting me to connect. To connect with this person. To bring him closer. But what can you do? After this, Koda went off and took another five months to make a new game. Five months? I mean, <clears throat> based on the type of game, it's not too long. Mobius Trip. To play this game properly, you must keep your eyes closed. Click the game to begin. Oh, I ruined it. What's going on? Can't die like this. Help, I'm blind. My vision suddenly went black. There's a giant door and my vision went black. Oh, goodness. Please, someone talk to me. Tell me how I solve this. S.S. Whisper. Hey, it's the Whisper. Is that... You should probably open your eyes if you haven't already. It's pretty much impossible to solve otherwise. And there is a solution, by the way. Yep. Climb up here. Ha! Ah, I found it. He can't keep making these. That's so sad. Like I said, I was getting concerned. First off, He's never been this explicit in his work about exactly what he's thinking. So, where's that coming from? But then, even weirder, his work has potentially stopped being an outlet for him. Not like he's having trouble iterating on ideas, but he literally just can't think of new ideas anymore. And in person, he was being a lot more distant than usual. Like, you know how sometimes a person will just deflect anything that you say in order to keep themselves disconnected all the time? It was that kind of thing. Here was the point in my relationship with Coda where I really started to wonder if he needed my help in some way. His games are going to get more desperate from here on out. After this game, it's almost six months before he finishes something new. So his time is getting longer and longer between each game. Okay. Ooh, brightness. Uh, where am I? That's where I am. Uh, how do I get out of here? Take the path, obviously. Blink, blink, blink. K. 
Okay. Is that a person? How lovely. It's been a long time since I talked to anyone. Who, who's, what's wrong? I look lost. Well, I am lost, and you're not helping me. Um, when I try to create, I feel empty. Dink, 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 dink. Oh no, what's happened? Did something change? I'm trying to find this engine that used to protect me to start it again. Oh, there's more of my trail. Wait, you're looking for a machine? I think I know where it is. It isn't far. Um, you have to take me to it. Oh, no. Whoa. Alright. Blink, 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 blink. I can do that, but there's if a the problem. the last game featured Coda talking explicitly about his creative frustrations, this one turns it up to 11. Now, put yourself in my shoes playing this. Here's a friend whose work is exhibiting signs of struggle, frustration, anxiety, depression, even. And yet, still, he keeps making games. He keeps throwing himself into the grinder even when he clearly doesn't have the energy for it anymore. Why? What is it for? Because from my perspective at the time and, and just what I knew of him, this was a result of how isolated he was. He was in his own little bubble, just sitting at his computer all day, not really showing these games to anyone, uh, not releasing them onto the internet. And so he didn't have anyone outside of himself to connect with. He had no outlet to ground himself on. Now you press the little one. You can't talk yourself out of loneliness. It doesn't work that way. You can't be the one writing both the questions and the answers. Then there's no movement. Then there's no circulation. If all of your anxieties are being channeled into your work, then if the work ever fails, you have no backup and you're just going to crash. Sounds like I'm suffocating. This is this is kind of terrifying. Seeing this game at the time that he made it, it looked really unhealthy. I was watching him do this to himself, and I hated it. I hated seeing him so trapped. It's like, video games are not worth this amount of suffering. This is someone I really cared about, and I used to get so much joy out of seeing him create. For him to suddenly become angry and frustrated like this it was the worst thing for me. I don't know. This is what I felt at the time. I don't know how else to explain it. But I wanted it to stop more than anything. I had never felt so rotten. I just, I needed more than I had ever needed anything for this to stop. But it didn't stop. After finishing this one, Coda takes another seven months and comes up with a new game. All right. Well, we're gonna take us. We're gonna stop it there because this this is a deep, intense game, and I don't want to give it too many too too long of a bit, or you'll get bored of it. But but we gotta keep it keep it intense and powerful. And thank you guys so much for watching. That's the beginner's guide. This is the trouble with bubbles, and I hope to see you in the next video.